Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has held talks with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Berlin. It's the first stop in the Indian Prime Minister's Europe tour. He will go on to Denmark to join an Indian Nordic summit and then make a brief stop in France for talks with the President Emmanuel Macron. And for more, let's bring in Trent Murray, who's in Berlin. Hi, Trent. What can you tell us about Modi's visit? Yeah, well, it's a very significant visit, certainly from the German government's perspective, because it is the first time the new Chancellor, I suppose you could say, Olaf Scholz, has met Narendra Modi in person. Of course, he only took over the job in December when former Chancellor Angela Merkel retired. So from a German government perspective, they see this as a really important meeting, and they're also quite pleased uh, that Narendra Modi has decided to start his tour of Europe right here in the German capital. And I think a sign of that appreciation came with this announcement we've heard today uh, that Germany as the host of the G7 meeting this year of, of G7 leaders has decided to extend an invitation to India to come as a special guest. Also Indonesia, South Africa and Senegal included in that group. But there is of course plenty for two, the two to discuss. We understand there is discussions around easing immigration rules for Indian skilled workers to come here to Europe's biggest economy being Germany. There's a joint cabinet meeting taking place where senior ministers from both governments will be discussing issues. Um, but the real issue, I think, of the day, of course, is a rethink, if you will, on India's relationship with India. Chancellor Schultz would like to really have conversations with Narendra Modi around whether there are ways Europe can work closer with India, especially at this very difficult time, given what we've seen in Ukraine. We also understand that the uh, Chancellor is quite keen to get German defence firms to maybe try and do some more business in India just to give New Delhi an alternative uh, to buying Russian-made weapons. So plenty for the two to discuss. We expect a press conference in coming hours.